In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made that much money in the month of May when the stock markets are absolutely getting kicked in the ribs. Stick around, I know you're gonna like this one. Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, hey, look, it's Memorial Day 2022. I wanna tip my hat to all those that sacrificed for me so I can live the life uh, that I live today. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what we are going to talk about today. I'm gonna to show you my May 2022 numbers, but we're not gonna just talk about them. I'm gonna show you a trade in particular that really exemplifies what we're doing here and how in a crashing stock market, we can make money, okay? Right now, we're seeing a nice rebound and it might continue. With that said, we still need to keep doing what we do to put real money on the table to pay the bills, okay? So I'm going to show you a trade today for which exemplifies that. Hey, look, if you've never been to my channel, this is exactly what I do. I come back every single week. I try to motivate and inspire you, whoever you are. You might need a little retirement income. You might want to make a little extra income with your portfolio to pay the bills, live the good life. And that's what I try to do every single week. Now, look, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free. If you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing is this. I'm still putting money on the table during this crashing stock market. You can see the S&P 500 is down 12.58%. Using my selling premium portfolio, we have collected cash flow that equals cash on cash, money invested, 15.23%. Now, what does that mean? If you don't know the selling premium strategy, what we do is we own stocks or we use our cash to generate income through the premiums we collect when we give somebody the right to take our shares at a price we pick and a time frame we pick. We also use the cash secure put for which we use the cash we have to uh, let the world know we'll take somebody's shares from them at a price we pick, time frame we pick, they pay us a per share premium to uh, keep that money on the sidelines. It's really just that simple. Now, how you manage those trades, it starts to get a, a little more advanced, but the basics are very simple and for anyone out there that needs to generate income you can learn this with that said we're generating four thousand two hundred ninety three dollars in the month of may i'm going to show you how that compares with the other years it's not as good but i'm okay with it because we're here trying to generate twenty five hundred dollars a month that is my goal here make twenty five hundred dollars a month selling premium with a small portfolio and i feel with social security some savings and selling premium, I can live the life I want in retirement. So for a lot of you out there that need that little bit of added income, that cash on the table, selling premium might be for you. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I do that with one particular trade. But let's go over to uh, what I sent to the members. Every single month I send this to the members. How I did for a particular month show you all the closed trades. Let's go over and see how I did this month. Now, you know, I have a membership and uh, it's alive and kicking. I'll tell you what, and I'll tell you what, we were talking about so much over there. A lot of people emailing me questions. Look, when you're a member, you get access to me and I love replying. I love replying, letting everybody know what I would do, seeing the world through my eyes. And I love giving my market commentary and I love trying to teach. So I'm always talking about how I'll manage a trade and I'll use a real life example, okay? My stocks, my trades, I talk about them. There's one thing I do every single month. This really comes from uh, Jerry. Jerry, a long time ago said, hey, John, give me that monthly breakdown. Well, if Jerry asks for it, I give it. And this is what I do for the members. And if you like any of this, I have a free one month offer that everybody takes advantage of over at my website, cpt-board.com. Join it. No obligation to stick around past the initial membership. One free month offer for you. Take advantage of it. Uh, a lot of value is given as I email the members uh, seemingly daily. Here's the monthly breakdown for May. This is May 2022, obviously. You can see it's very respectable in a stock market that has crashed. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm spinning many plates. My selling premium portfolio probably has about 15 positions in it. They're not large positions, but they're enough to keep the crumbs coming in. And I have stocks on the bench, I have cash on the bench, and I'm trying to rotate them in as the situations present themselves. Now, as you can see, I've done 10 trades. And if you remember last month, I think I did 19 trades. Because of the market environment, and how I'm feeling we might get a little bit of a pop higher, which has happened. I'm sitting back on some of my positions because I don't want to get caught where I write that near-term covered call and we get a pop in the stock market. Now that hasn't played out over the past three months. And that obviously is the fear for most everybody, including myself. That's the FOMO effect, fear of missing out on a pop. Well, I have about half of my positions just sitting back because I can't get them in the game. They're down too much much to risk that using that 30 delta 30 day covered call on some of my positions I can do that because if we were to get a pop in the stock and if that stock were to move higher over the 30 days I can manage the trade better because the strike price is such that the stock would actually have to make a serious run to get to the strike price. So that's what I'm doing with a lot of my positions. And hey, it's paying off. As you can see, in the month of May, I had 10 closed positions. Now, the cash secure puts really paid off this month because I felt we had a great support line at the S&P 500 4,000. Well, of course, we broke that because of Walmart and Target coming out with bad news. But for a moment, it was feeling good. So I did some cash secure puts where I thought we were gonna get a reversal I'm not saying a reversal back to all time highs, but if anything, a dead cat bounce. Well, didn't happen. I elect to take these shares or be assigned these shares at those strike prices. Now, moving forward, I will not use this money for cost basis reduction. A lot of people say, hey, John, you know, you, you did the 91 strike on Morgan Stanley. You got like three bucks. Are you going to use that three bucks as cost basis reduction? I'm not. The plan is to spend that money in retirement. See, that's why I love coming back, uh, sharing with you my stories, my experiences, because I try to present a real life scenario here. We sell the premium, we make the money, we spend the money. Okay, I know a lot of you out there will keep that money, you'll reinvest it. Well, in retirement, you can't do that. Hey, that's my mindset. I need to spend the money. So I am spending all my plates with the true cost basis. It's very important to understand here, we are spending this money. Now, because I have the luxury of not being in retirement, I'm able to sometimes say, okay, I give up, wave the white flag. And of course, I'll use all my premiums for my cost basis reduction and get out of a trade. We're not right now. Right now, I believe we're looking to move higher. I'll come back to this page here in a minute. I wanna show you one more thing, but let me show you the Dow right now. Now here's the Dow right now. I think the all-time high is about 3,600. I felt the Dow could have fallen a little bit further, maybe even testing 3,000, as I thought the S&P 500 might test 3,600. Well, we get a reversal, and it'll be interesting to see if we break this current resistance, this downtrend resistance right here. And if we break through this over the next few trading days, this could be a great opportunity for a, a recovery. And if it is, we're going to at least move to 35,000. Now, that'll be great because the markets will absolutely start to feel that the past is the past and now they're looking for the future where they know the Fed's gonna raise interest rates. We know inflation is what it is. It is cooling a bit and some of the things that they're doing will work. This is important right now because confidence in a lot of individual investors is absolutely ruined right now, right? There's a lot of people out there that can't look and they won't look. Well, if you're one of those people, then what you need to do is suck it up. You really need to uh, grab yourself by the shoulder, say, look, you have to watch because so many people will not watch down here and hell, they might even sell down here. What happens is once the market starts to go higher, you don't believe that it's going to continue. You have no faith. So you don't get back in and the market proves that it will find itself higher. I mean, I could go back. This thing goes back to the 1900s. We've been here, done that. But in the near term, we don't have confidence, right? So this is why we need to just keep staying the course, doing what we do. Now let's go back to what I sent to the members so I can show you my month by month comparison over the past five years of selling premium. 
Now, I always love to look at this breakdown. How much money did I make selling covered calls using cash secure puts using the poor man's covered call strategy? Maybe selling some stocks or selling some leaps. Well, this month, it's all about the cash secure put, as you can see, generating 56% of the cash flow uh, using the cash secure put, which makes sense, right? The market's falling. We're going to use that defensive play of the cash secure put. And uh, the covered call is not used as much because call premiums are not as juicy. People are fearful that their shares could be taken away under their stock purchase price. So nobody's using the covered call in this case. For me, I use the covered call for about $1,800 of my total $4,200.93 cash flow in May. So I'm still writing those covered calls where I can. It's very important to pick your spots, pick that strike price that is about 30, that's about 30 delta out. Hell, you might even do a lesser delta because you want the best opportunity for the stock to not challenge your strike price yet still make a little premium. And when you have so many spinning plates like I do, I can do this on multiple stocks, keep collecting little crumbs and it adds up. Now let's talk about how this has played out over the past five years. Now I show up on YouTube sharing my story back in the middle of 2016. Well, I'm not going to show you all that. I'm going to show you the last five years because that's very relevant. As you can see in 2018, the markets were not that volatile. We had just come out of that oil crash, market stabilizing, and I'm learning how to sell premium like a pro. I mean, I'm really feeling it now, managing all my trades. In the month of May in 2018, I make over $2,000. Now, back then, my goal was $1,200. If you remember, I wanted to make exactly what uh, I'm projected to make in retirement with Social Security of about $1,200. That exceeded that. Well, 2019, we make even more. 2020, when the stock market crashed 50%, volatility off the charts, using the cash secure put and doing what we do, $15,200. Now, for the most part, that's using about $225,000. Now, maybe in that month, I used a little bit more, but that month may not ever be duplicated. Then the following year, we get a little confirmation that what John's doing is for real. And in the month of May in 2021, we knock down damn near $12,000. Now this year, a lot of spinning plates, a lot of positions that are down. We're trying to pick up little crumbs where we can. Right now, it's all about the crumbs, putting the money on the table, paying the visa bill, okay? That's the goal. So I'm picking up 100 here, 200 there, 300 there. And we're satisfied with that because we're having success. So this month, this year, I make $4,293, exceeding my goal of $2,500. And I'll tell you what, $4,293 in retirement, paying the bills, I think I could live the good life. Now, let me show you that one trade that I love using right now to generate some positive cash flow. So here's the trade I'm going to highlight. It's 3M. And the reason I want to highlight 3M is because the way it's been trading since I got involved with the trade. Understand that I bought 200 shares and I bought two leaps call options to use the poor man's covered call. So I'm slinging 400 shares with 3M. It hasn't been as profitable as all those other riskier, more volatile trades. 3M is this huge staple company. It trades sideways to high. It's trading lower because the markets are trading lower, but it is showing, it is proving it is a staple. It is a staple in my portfolio. It doesn't move much. We can manage trades. I'm going to show you how I manage this trade right now. Now look, if you like anything you hear, can you bang the like button? I check this video throughout the week before I do my next video. And I love when I see all of those likes. Absolutely jacks me up to come back and give you another red hot cover call video. Now, we're talking 3M. And I wanna show you exactly why I love 3M. First of all, we already get it that 3M is one of the biggest companies on the planet. They have products 
around the globe. They have a huge dividend. They have earnings per share. And yes, they have ups and downs based on inflation. But at the end of the day, 3M will be here longer than most companies. Okay. So I love using 3M. Talk about it over the past five years, largely because of its trading range. If we pan back the chart, this is what I love about 3M. It's a large S&P type company and it absolutely trades in these ranges, right? Even though it's down right now, the ranges are beautiful to play, and we do. Notice now, it has fallen due to this recent nasty sell-off in the overall market. It's acting just like every other stock. Notice now it found its footing down here, and look what it's doing. It's just pacing. It's pacing like the stock market is right now. And notice when the markets pop, 3M is popping as well. So the range is very important. We've talked about this over the years that what I love about a stock is not necessarily its earnings or, or its PE ratio or all the fundamentals. No, when we sell premium for 30 days, we're really looking for a great S&P type company that trades sideways to higher in most markets. We want the range because what we can do is bank on ranges. So when 3M is down here, and it tests that support, right? Wall Street has exhausted its selling. It finds itself back to resistance. And then it trades sideways to lower and it tests the resistance again. So these support lines and resistance lines can be more bankable with great companies like 3M. So as you can see, over the past three months, I've absolutely been getting involved with 3M here as it starts to make its move, I might write the covered call here with a nice 30 delta strike out here. And as it approaches that, it peels off. I'm able to buy back the option. Say I got a buck 30 for the option, right? This, this example right here paid me a buck 30. As it starts to peel back, right? This option now, as it gets close to expiration, is going to go from a buck 30 to 30 cents from 30 cents to 15 cents. So now I might have two full weeks to just sit there and try to collect 15 cents. Well, I don't do that. I buy it back for 15 cents. I keep the difference, $1.30 minus 15. I keep 115 in my wallet, still have my shares. As 3M tests that bottom again, as it starts to make its move again, we do it again. We're doing this every single month. Now, right now, 3M had fallen. I bought an option back and I haven't written the covered call yet. See how it's right about where I love to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to pick that 160 strike. It hasn't seen 160 for three months, but the 160 strike might pay me about $1.15. So that's the plan. And if I have 200 shares, that's about $240. That's a little crumb. This investment is generating me a little baby crumb every single month because it's predictable. It trades sideways to higher to lower, but in a range that is not crazy. Hey, a great company to do this on is Apple. Apple is doing the same thing. Oh, there's so many of them. I love sending the members all of my seeing the world through John's eyes emails where I show them stocks that hit my radar. And I'll tell you what, for all you members, that Cisco trade was awesome. Absolutely benefited by buying the leaps option at the low. And now it's moving higher just as I thought it would. And hey, look, that's a real life trade. Instead of using Walmart, like I said in last week's video, I went with Cisco. I'm benefiting from it right now. So look for great stocks. Look for stocks that trade sideways to higher and in these ranges. They're everywhere and you can find them. If you're out there looking to generate some extra cash flow using your portfolio, selling premium can be that option for you. I know right now all of you are bailing. Got a one free month offer for you. Next week's video is going to be even better because I'm actually going to show you a trade, a poor man's cover call trade that you can do literally three times the profit that someone that owned 100 shares would make. Hey, look, on this Memorial Day 2022, let's all tip our hat 
to those that sacrificed, that made the ultimate sacrifice so we can have the freedoms we enjoy today. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.